My next guest says that workplace monitoring is only becoming more prevalent and that employees need better protection. Valerio De Stefano is the Canadian Research Chair in Innovation, Law and Society at Osgoode Law School. Uh, joins us from Toronto. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So uh, is, is this something that's reasonable to expect in, in workplace uh, for someone, an employer, to implement this small robot that goes around counting employees? Well, uh, so everything has a nuanced answer, right? So if it's just about counting employees and measuring the workspace, then maybe it is reasonable. The problem is that uh, these systems, these devices rarely do one thing at a time. Uh, in many cases, they uh, listen to, to conversation because they uh, are used also to measure, I don't know, noise pollution. But if you measure noise pollution, you, you track sounds and then you track conversations, for instance. And uh, it, is, it can be used to see whether you are at your workstation when you are supposed to be there or not. And maybe you are not at your workstation for a very good reason that you are speaking with your boss or speaking with a colleague, and maybe the computer thinks that you are slacking off. So there's many possible downsides for workers when these systems are used in an unregulated way. I've never heard of something like this, and I'm thinking that a lot of people watching will be a little surprised to see a robot like this moving about a, a, a workspace. How often do you hear about these kinds of concerns? And have you seen this kind of a robot in place or heard of it happening before? Well, uh, so the, the robot is a new iteration, but uh, every electronic device that we use at our work right now basically can be used to monitor us uh, reading our emails, counting how many keystrokes we give in a certain moment of time, uh, watching which new which uh, website are we watching, recording our uh, our screen without um, anyone knowing. So this is already a reality in many workplaces around Canada. And it is a, a concerning reality because many of these systems purport to do things that they cannot actually do and can be very damaging for employees. So uh, the concern is pretty uh, well-founded and the robot doesn't seem to function in a way that is, that is that reassuring, to be honest. Now, in this case, the federal government is saying that this is just about trying to make sure that the workplace is, is good, uh, that the air quality is good, the noise level is down. It's, is, it, uh, you know, is there a matter of trust here or should there be regulations in place to, to monitor the digital monitoring? There should be the regulation in place. I mean, trust is good, but uh, regulation is better. Uh, regulation can tell you what you can use and what you can't. And the best thing in this case, since this is a unionized uh, workplace, uh, uh, I believe, is to sit down with the worker representatives and decide what use you can do with the material that this robot takes on. Uh, if the government uh, agreed not to ever use any of the information gathered by these uh, systems to discipline people, to measure their work performance, I'm sure there will be uh, a lot less opposition to this. And it will be absolutely reasonable if you want to measure workspace to see whether you can cut on some real estate costs. There is no need to measure and to and to track what people are saying or uh, when are they moving around the office. So you can use this thing reasonably. To do that, you need to discuss with your employees what are you going to do with that? Valeria De Stefano, the Canadian Research Chair in Innovation, Law and Society at Osgoode Hall, Osgoode Law School, pardon me. Valerio, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.